Welcome to the Whirlwind Tour. It sounds a lot more official than the 25 cent tour. <laughs> this is going to be just a quick look at the main screens and main stage. For those of you that really are super, super excited and want to just dive right in and explore around a little bit yourself, you want to know what direction you should head in. So let's just take a quick glance at some of the features and sounds that main stage comes with. Up here, we've got the layout, edit, and perform screens. We're in the edit screen now. We can kind of manipulate the order of patches. We can create new ones. We can add layers, add more sounds to our patches, and you can play in the edit screen as well, as you hear. So you can do a lot of playing in this screen. Main stage has some really great built-in sounds, and it has a lot of really high quality sound generating engines and plugins to work with and choose from. Right now you're hearing that e-piano engine a really nice electric piano sound and these screen controls up here are manipulating them I can add or subtract from the bell sound I can add a little drive to it if I want if that's the kind of sound that you're looking for try some chorus tremolo these right here are what Logic Pro 10 and Mainstage refer to as smart controls. Mainstage shares the same nomenclature often. Basically, they're sort of really quickly mapped accessible controls, the most important things that they feel you need to control on whatever instrument you happen to have up. So you'll notice the smart control screen will change depending on what instrument I'm using. So the sound and look and control elements of the smart controls is going to be different with an electronic drum set from a violin or electric piano. So it's really cool. I like how it does that very quickly for vibraphone. You know, we got a more of an acoustic, elegant look. For an organ, you might want to have some draw bars. I really like how Apple has kind of made this new smart control paradigm where the most important things are there, but it can also look different depending on the audio engine or plugin that you're using. So as you can see, I can change patches fairly quickly. You can use the arrow keys. You can switch patches using the mouse and this particular patch list screen control. If you wanted to, you could assign and map these buttons so that they respond to hardware controls. So if I wanted to change patches using specific buttons on my MIDI controller, I could do that too. So you see, I can switch right from one into the next without having to use the mouse and click on the screen. I go right into the organ and you can hold a patch. Listen to that sustain. And that's a really neat feature that Mainstage offers. I really like that I can hit a chord, hold it on one instrument, switch patches and start playing, and the other one doesn't cut off or go away right away. It's a really, really great feature and it's something that you use without even thinking about it. Once you've got it going, it enables your patch changing to happen a little more elegantly. You've got audio things that you can do here. So I've got a guitar plugged in right now for you guitarists or bassists or vocalists, drummer. You can run just about any kind of audio through here. I know electronic violinists that use main stage. The screen control right here, this particular smart control screen control, switches to like an amp head. So the things you need to adjust on an amp. So in the middle of a show for you guitar players out there, you can switch from keyboard to guitar, or if you're a guitarist vocalist, keyboards vocalist, any kind of combination, you can run your vocals through main stage and get high quality effects in addition to your keyboard. All the sounds that you want. You can adjust the pedal board, drag some pedals, put them in there in any order you want and turn them on and off as needed. So if I want a wah, you can do that kind of stuff. So it's really that there's a lot there for guitarists or bassists. 
you can have this stuff available to you or not. That's the great thing about main stage is that if I want to be able to control this stuff, great. But if I don't want to, I don't need to see it. I could just load up a patch that has distorted guitar and make the next patch a clean patch and never have to worry about the screen controls or smart controls or anything. I've just got guitar distorted, guitar clean, and then right in the middle of songs, I can switch between them. Real simple without having to get up there on the screen with the mouse if I don't want to. There's so many ways that you can configure this. It's just so easy to use. So for those of you that like to play with backing tracks, Mainstage has this really robust playback engine that can load up lots of synchronized backing tracks. Or you can load up a single one that has all your backing tracks mixed together if you're exporting from GarageBand. Or if you're using Logic, you can bounce your stems and have individual control. So you can have drums on one backing track, bass on another backing track, background vocals on another backing track, and adjust the volume of those independently while you're playing the gig. So that's a really cool thing. So you see me using Logic's ES2 synth control right there. It's a really cool analog synth emulator. We've also got the new retro synth plugin that's really cool. We'll take a look at that later. There's some cool stuff here. Now let's say I want to control, you know, I've got a backing track loaded, just like a little drum track. And I want to be able to start and stop it with a control on the screen. Well, that's where you guys will use this layout window to do that kind of thing. And in the layout window, as you can see, I can add all kinds of buttons, knobs, and customize the interface to my liking. So you can use Apple's great presets that they provide, or you can get in there and tweak and dig down as needed. I'll just take a button here, throw it up there, resize it a little bit, and I go back to the edit window. And now in this patch, I can take that button and I can map it to a certain thing if I want to. I will map it to my drum playback and we'll go a little deeper into this in the later tutorial, but let's just take a quick look. All you need to know is that basically I made it so that that button now starts and stops this drum playback engine. So I can start and stop it. Well, there we go. I can have that starting and stopping multiple things if I want. I can have it starting and stopping the entire complement of eight or 16 backing tracks all linked together. It's really, really cool to be able to do that. Let's say you've put a lot of controls up here and you want to be able to see them all on the screen and you don't want to see all the channel strips and stuff and you just want to play. Well, now that's what performance mode is for. So I'll switch to perform mode. I now am using all of my screen real estate just for the playing aspect of the instrument. You can see those smart controls are nice and large now. If I want any of those smart controls to respond to a hardware knob, that's easy enough to do. I can just click on it, map it, tap a button on my controller and it's assigned. And now that particular button will control that particular thing. So I can turn compression on. Let's turn it way up so we really hear it. So I'm playing. Turn it on. Wow. And it's really cool. You can even see the gain reduction in the channel strip. Because the channel strips the main stage is using is unified. It's the same as the logic channel strip. So you got that high quality metering available to you. If I adjust the EQ of anything, you know, let's make this a, a bit of a real trebly drum set. You can see a nice little graphical thumbnail. So that's what the edit workspace will do for you. You got your layout and your performance workspace. So all of your three different main modes, and that's sort of the whirlwind tour of all three of them, of all the things that you can look at and do in main stage. Now it's time to dig down and get really in depth about each of these in particular. So I hope you stick around to check it out.